So this is the John Deere Pro 900 backhoe attachment for us kids here. And I'm going to show you how we modded it to make it fit a case 1845C. So the main part of it is this part here. So this basically gives a firm connection between the attachment and the machine so that there's no flop right here on the curl cylinders and these don't contact the curl cylinders. So in order to make this work, all we did, the part that it came with, we pretty much, there was a little ball in it. We took that out, made our own plates for it, welded it to there, and you put two pins in each side of that into here, and then hook that to there. It's pretty simple, it's like the ball of a trailer. We had to cut these back because I guess John Deere has curl cylinders in a different place or something, and because um, it, was, it was contacting like way out here, we probably cut probably that much off of these. So cut those back and then we modified the quick attach to accept this one. Pretty simple stuff. Um, the main thing with one of these backhoe attachments, at least this one, I don't know if all of them are this way, I think they are, is you have to have constant auxiliary flow. So this machine's not set up for that, unfortunately. But what I did is I just had a brick stuck underneath the pedal and I, I ran my back go off of it and it, it worked pretty good. All right, we got the backhoe attachment all hooked up. So we're gonna attempt to dig out the stump or this tree. There's actually a couple of rocks beside it and stuff too. I gotta move. Um, I may not be close enough with the skid steer, but uh, let's see what happens.
know, if, if your machine's got auxiliary flow, one of these is it's it's pretty decent. You know, I I will say I'm kind of impressed by it, especially for it running off of just the auxiliary pump for this machine, which is not high flow from the factory, by the way. It's standard flow, so it's not even getting a whole lot of it's not even getting a whole lot of flow. And it actually it actually did pretty good. I mean, this stump was probably about fully rotten. So if we're ready to dig it up, it is a decently large stump. It's not crazy big. But I think if you took your time and dug out good around any of them, I, I, I still feel like, I mean, it still did a good job digging. I mean, I guess that's the main aspect of it, is it, is it, it was digging around it. I only dug around three sides of it. I didn't even dig around the back at all. And it pulled it right over. If you were trying to do something live or freshly cut, you might have to go around all four sides good several times. But I mean, I, I think it would do. I think it does a lot more than, than a lot of people think it would. It, it's, it's no replacement for a mini excavator. Those are, uh, those are pretty great, but it'll definitely get some stuff done. It's definitely a much cheaper option. Cause you know, that was only, I only paid like 4,000 for that attachment. And you know, you obviously, if you already have a skid steer, then you don't have that investment. But a skid steer is also more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Multi-use, I guess. You know, you can do more than you can with a Mini X. So, I still think if you're gonna run, or if you're gonna run something all day long, I still think you should have two separate machines, cause that's gonna be a lot of stress on, on this machine. But, you know, if you've just got some stumps, and you're just you're just you're starting out even if you're just starting out as a grading company i think that you know if you could get your hands on one of these and as long as you can modify it to make it fit your machine that's going to be the main thing or get one for your machine yeah that's the pro 900 backhoe attachment pretty slick